Procurement, in simpler terms, is the process of acquiring the right goods and services at the right time and at the right price. It involves everything from identifying needs, sourcing suppliers, negotiating contracts, managing deliveries, and ensuring quality. Essentially, it's about securing the resources an organization needs to operate effectively and efficiently. In this episode of S&P Knowledge Series, let's discuss the topic, PESIS Model of Procurement, authored by S.N. Panagrahi, Certified PMP, Authorized Training Partner, at Constructor, PMI USA, Fellow Institution of Engineers, FIE, Chartered Engineer, Certified Lean Six Sigma Black Belt. Certified Lead Auditor IMS, Z and Lean Consultant, GSD and International Business and Projects Consultant, Corporate Trainer, Mentor and Author, Life Member Indian Society for Training and Development, ISTD, Life Member and Ex-National Council Member, IIMM, Member PMI USA and Associate Member Global PMO, Special Invitee Board of Studies Symbiosis Center of Distance Learning. The PESIS copyright model was developed by the author S. N. Panagrahi. PESIS stands for Plan, Execute, Control, Improve, Sustain. The PESIS Plan, Execute, Control, Improve, Sustain model is a management framework that guides organizations through a systematic approach to processes. It involves planning clear objectives, executing strategies, implementing controls for transparency and compliance, continuously improving through monitoring and corrective actions, and sustaining optimized processes over the long term. PESIS guides successful procurement through five stages described below. Plan. In the plan phase of the PESIS model, organizations define clear objectives, align strategies with overall goals, develop comprehensive strategies for procurement processes, and identify needs, establishing a roadmap for successful procurement. Execute. The execute phase involves the implementation of the formulated strategies, strategic sourcing, category management, and procurement plans, turning conceptual plans into actionable steps to fulfill organizational needs. Control. The control phase involves managing and overseeing various aspects to ensure transparency, compliance, effective risk mitigation, and effective management of procurement activities, ensuring that it aligns with organizational goals and mitigates potential risks. The control process also includes taking corrective and preventive measures in case of deviations. Improve. The IMPROVE phase focuses on continuous enhancement, incorporating feedback, monitoring and analyzing order fulfillment, quality checks, performance evaluation, and cost analysis to drive efficiency, quality, and overall process optimization. SUSTAIN The SUSTAIN phase emphasizes the establishment of long-term practices, fostering supplier relationships, integrating sustainability measures, integrating eco-friendly practices, and updating the procurement plan to adapt to changing needs and market conditions, and to adapt to evolving business landscapes. PESA's cycle ensures strategic, efficient, and responsible procurement. By following the PESIS cycle, procurement teams can ensure they are constantly getting the best value for their money and building strong relationships with suppliers. Now, let's elaborately discuss each phase of PESIS model developed by the author. Plan 1. Organizational Alignment Ensure procurement activities support organizational goals and strategies. For instance, if the company aims to reduce costs by 10%, procurement strategies should support this goal. 2. Define objectives. Set clear objectives for the specific procurement process. Example, cost savings, quality improvement, supplier diversification, service level improvements or sustainability like reduce costs by 10%, improve delivery time by 20%. 3. Identify needs. Assess internal requirements to determine necessary goods or services that need to be procured with specifications, quantity, and delivery timeframe. Example, conduct a needs assessment to identify the quantity and specifications of raw materials needed for production. 4. Develop strategy. 
Develop a sourcing strategy that outlines how the goods or services will be procured, considering factors such as cost, quality, and risk. Example, single sourcing, competitive bidding, decide on sourcing methods, example, direct, auction, contract types. Develop a strategy that prioritizes sustainable and socially responsible sourcing practices. 5. Strategic sourcing. Identify potential categories for consolidation or strategic partnerships. Group similar items for volume discounts. Identify key suppliers. 6. Category management. Group similar good services for better negotiation leverage and cost control. Analyze specific categories example, raw materials, it MRO, office supplies for optimization. Develop standardized specifications and supplier evaluation criteria for each category for efficient negotiation and management. 7. Market research and finding vendors. Conduct research to identify and qualify potential suppliers. Research market trends, identify potential suppliers, and gather information on capabilities. Using online platforms, trade shows, etc. 8. Source selection criteria. Establish criteria for evaluating potential suppliers. Define criteria such as price, quality, delivery, reliability, experience, financial stability, and sustainability for evaluating suppliers. 9. Create procurement plan. Develop a detailed plan and outline for the procurement process, including timelines, budget, tasks, resources, responsibilities, communication plan, risk mitigation strategies, etc. 10. Conduct risk and compliance assessment. Identify and assess potential risks associated with the procurement process like supplier performance, legal issues and supply disruptions, and develop mitigation strategies. Ensure compliance with relevant regulations and policies and ethical sourcing. 11. Create documentation. Prepare necessary documents like specifications, RFQS, RFPS, contracts, and evaluation forms. 12. Sustainability. Finally, sustainability embeds best practices and responsible sourcing for continuous success and improvement and integrates strategies for long-term success. The second phase of the PESIS model is execute. Now, let's us discuss the execute phase. 1. Issue solicitation documents, send out RFS, RFPS, RFQS, or invitations to bid ITs or other documents based on the chosen strategy, clearly outlining requirements. 2. Receive and evaluate supplier proposals, review proposals against predefined selection criteria and identify shortlisted vendors. 3. Negotiate contracts. Negotiate terms and conditions with shortlisted suppliers to achieve best value in terms of price, quality, delivery, payment terms, etc. 4. Source selection. Choose the most suitable supplier based on evaluation and negotiation outcomes. 5. Order management. Issue purchase orders with clear specifications, quantities, delivery timelines, and other terms track deliveries, and manage changes effectively. 6. Manage contract performance. Monitor supplier adherence to terms, deadlines, and quality standards. 7. Payment management. Ensure timely and accurate payments according to agreed terms and resolve any invoicing discrepancies. 8. Manage inventory. Track stock levels, optimize ordering to avoid shortages or overstock, and manage returns rejections. Executing procurement effectively is crucial for organizations to achieve value for money, maintain an uninterrupted supply, and secure the right supplies. By meticulously implementing sourcing strategies, negotiating favorable terms, and ensuring compliance organizations can optimize price quality balance while safeguarding the continuity of their supply chain. This results in acquiring the right products or services from reliable suppliers, ensuring quality and reliability, ultimately contributing to the overall success and sustainability of the business operations. The third phase of PESIS model is control. Let's deliberate on various elements of control phase. Monitor order fulfillment. 
track order status, delivery timelines, and identify any delays or issues and ensure orders are fulfilled as per schedule. Performance Monitoring Analyze data and assess supplier performance against key performance indicators KPs such as on-time delivery, cost, quality, responsiveness, and supplier performance against objectives and benchmarks. Quality checks. Conduct quality assessments to ensure received goods meet requirements and adhere to specifications and quality standards. Contract compliance review. Ensure suppliers comply with contractual obligations, terms, conditions, and agreed service levels and regulatory requirements. Evaluate supplier performance. Assess overall supplier performance based on various factors and identify areas for improvement. Conduct regular performance reviews based on agreed metrics. Analyze procurement costs. Track and analyze procurement costs to identify opportunities for cost savings and optimization. Risk and compliance assessment. Review and update the risk assessment based on new information and ensure continued compliance. The fourth phase in PESIS model is improve. Let's now discuss improve phase of procurement. Process improvement. Identify areas for improvement in the procurement process based on data and feedback from all phases. Identify areas for process optimization and implement improvements to enhance efficiency and effectiveness. Consider conducting internal and external benchmarking to compare your performance against industry standards and identify further areas for improvement. Implement corrective and proactive actions. Address identified issues and implement corrective actions to prevent future occurrences. Address any issues or non-conformities identified during the check phase to prevent recurrence. Implement proactive risk management strategies by identifying potential risks and developing mitigation plans to enhance resilience in the procurement process. Leverage negotiation power. Leverage performance data and market insights to negotiate better pricing, delivery terms, or warranties with suppliers. Continuously seek opportunities to renegotiate contracts and terms to achieve better value for the organization. Supplier relationship management. Build strong relationships with key suppliers through collaboration, communication, and joint problem solving to drive collaboration and innovation. Technology innovation and knowledge sharing. Embrace new technologies like e-procurement platforms, data analytics tools, and automation solutions, lean and agile practices to enhance efficiency and effectiveness. Foster a culture of continuous learning within the procurement team by sharing best practices, conducting training, and encouraging collaboration with suppliers and other stakeholders. Continuous Improvement Embrace a culture of continuous improvement to drive ongoing enhancements in procurement processes, regularly reviewing and adapting processes. Adapt the plan based on lessons learned, changing market conditions, and evolving organizational needs. Regularly review and update the procurement plan to reflect changing business needs and market conditions. These aspects collectively contribute to a culture of continuous improvement fostering agility and adaptability within the procurement processes and achieving significant cost savings, efficiency gains, and increased value for your organization. The last phase of PESIS model developed by the author is sustainability. Let's now discuss about sustainability practices in procurement. 1. Integrate sustainability principles. Embed environmental, social, and governance EAST considerations into your procurement decision-making. Consider factors like resource efficiency, ethical sourcing, and supplier diversity. Continuously measure, monitor, and improve your sustainable procurement practices to maximize positive impact and align with evolving standards. 2. Ethical Sourcing Prioritize suppliers with ethical and sustainable practices, ensuring compliance with labor and environmental standards, transparent reporting, and responsible operations. Opt for suppliers and transportation methods that minimize carbon emissions, contributing to a greener supply chain. Encourage a diverse supplier base, promoting inclusivity and supporting businesses owned by women, minorities, and other underrepresented groups. Three. Life Cycle Analysis 
evaluate the full environmental impact of a product's entire life cycle, from raw material extraction to end-of-life disposal. Choose options with lower environmental footprint, optimizing energy efficiency, minimizing waste, and prioritizing recyclable or reusable materials. 4. Circular Economy Practices Embrace circularity to minimize waste and resource depletion. Encourage suppliers to offer recyclable reusable materials, promote take-back programs, and consider product design for disassembly. 5. Transparency and Reporting Maintain transparency in sourcing practices, track the origin of materials, and identify potential sustainability risks and regularly report on sustainability metrics, allowing stakeholders to assess and validate the organization's commitment to sustainable procurement. By integrating these key points, organizations can significantly contribute to a more sustainable future through procurement activities. PESIS guides efficient procurement through a continuous cycle. It starts by planning clear goals and strategies, then executes purchases with chosen suppliers, ensuring control of performance and compliance. Finally, it improves processes and relationships and sustains best practices for long-term success and responsible sourcing. By following this structured approach, organizations can optimize their procurement processes, mitigate risks, and drive value across the supply chain. This sequence ensures a logical and cyclical flow. Remember, the PESA cycle is iterative, and you may revisit and adjust activities throughout the procurement process for continuous improvement. Also note that specific activities within each phase may vary depending on the specific procurement project and organizational context. Thank you for listening the video. Hope you liked the presentation. If you like, please click like and subscribe for free to learn more in the SNP Knowledge Series. Also circulate to your contacts. For more details, contact Mr. S. N. Panigrahi at below.